<laughs> and so that's how you troll the Democrats. You don't do it by sending them free cookies. That's just not a smart play. I mean, you do that with the whenever you're, you know, trying to punish any five-year-old, which the Democrats essentially are, and we'll actually get to that in a second. Uh, but when you're punishing any child, the last thing you do is reward them with cookies. Hey, fellow tacticians. Be sure to like this video and subscribe and ring that little notification bell. That supports this channel's conservative content, which is good for me, good for you, good for America, but really bad for the dark cyber overlords at YouTube. That was stupid. I know it was stupid. Really stupid. Hey, I just said it was stupid. <laughs>
Emily Rodajkowski, I think was her name. She's this incredibly sexy model. And it's a good thing she's pretty because she's dumb. Uh, her plan was to punish Republican senators in the state of Alabama by posting nude pictures of herself online. Yeah, R really stuck it to him there, Emily. Anyway, I think that this is a dumb plan, and it is a plan on the same level as the Emily Rodajkowski thing, primarily because it essentially does exactly the same thing. The reason that I say this is, Put yourself into the mind of these Democrat representatives. If you showed up to work and there's just truckloads of free Oreos there waiting for you, would you feel A, bad about that, B, good about that, or C, like it's the best day at work ever? I would go with C. Oreos are freaking delicious, especially the double-stuffed kind. So if this happens to me, I don't feel like I did something wrong. I am dancing in the streets. And I can't dance because I am super white, and I assume that Gary O'Connor, being uber white himself, is also the same way. I don't know. Maybe he does river dance. I, maybe so. I don't know. But regardless, <laughs> if you show up and there's a truckload of Oreos for free at your workplace, that is not a bad thing, guys. And so as much as I love Colonel West, I'm sorry, Colonel, this was dumb. This is not a good strategy for punishing someone. Uh, I remember one time we showed up because Dairy Queen, the one over on Atlanta Highway, used to be one of our sponsors, and they had a bunch of free Oreo blizzards. Did I feel bad about that? No, I was absolutely freaking thrilled about that. When I walk into the door and there's a blizzard waiting for me there in my radio studio at 1440. And so <laughs> I just don't understand the strategy. This is why Colonel Allen West needs to hire me to strategy, because here would have been the better play. Instead of telling people to mail Oreos by the truckload to the, the Democrat headquarters there in Lamar County, what you do is you tell people to buy Oreos, eat the Oreos first, take the empty bag of Oreos, the packaging, and mail that to them, because that serves two purposes. First of all, then you're sit sitting there holding an empty bag of Oreos, and that would make any person sad. Because you're looking at Oreos, that, and then second of all, it's a major environmental hazard that, I mean, yes, those packages would have been thrown away anyway, but now the Democrats, the environmentally friendly party, party has to figure out where they're going to dump a bunch of unrecyclable plastic. <laughs> and so that's how you troll the Democrats. You don't do it by sending them free cookies. That's just not a smart play. I mean, you do that with the whenever you're, you know, trying to punish any five-year-old, which the Democrats essentially are, and we'll actually get to that in a second. Uh, but when you're punishing any child, the last thing you do is reward them with cookies. However, I say all of that, and I stand by every single word of it. But Gary O'Connor did offer his resignation in result of all that. So maybe, maybe Colonel Allen was a lot smarter than I thought. You know, maybe a, a West Point graduate knows a little bit more about strategy than a local talk show host in Montgomery, Alabama. I don't know, but I'm just saying, I thought it was a dumb plan. Apparently it worked. I, I don't really know if that was the goal Colonel West was going to, but you know, the guy resigned. So what do I know? <laughs> To convince you to like this video and subscribe to my channel, I'm about to do some political impersonations. First up, Bernie Sanders. It is immoral that in this country, the top 1% of YouTubers get all the likes and subscriptions. John Kerry. Please remember to ring the notification bell. President Joe Biden. If you like the show, call the TV guide and tell them. You know, the thing. Kamala Harris. Batman would want you to like and subscribe. <laughs>